Okay, let's talk about the CSS for the template for my final um, template design. You can see here that this template's one of the nice things about it is I, I also not only did I get it to look the way I wanted, but also it's it's pretty much sizing really nicely. Look, so here's if you had a small window, let's say, or if you had a really large window, everything would stretch and and maintain look, and the text would uh, adjust itself. So pretty fluid design here, pretty fluid or uh, not quite, a, not elastic, but but a fluid design and uh, really happy with that. Okay, so let's look at uh, some of the CSS that I changed. Um, right here you've got uh, uh, the uh, header here. Um, you can see here this is all the same, right? Header right, float right, that's for the mountains floating to the right, and then header image float left. And this is the previous CSS here, I'm going to click on it. You see here that the only difference on this page is I changed the header unordered list. So this is an unordered list elements in the header and I changed the padding to zero here. And that's it. Now let's go down, scroll down here to these um, uh, and we'll take a look here. This is the previous one. Okay, right there. We'll see if there's any changes. Okay, you'll see there's quite a few changes in in here. And we'll take a look at some of the changes that happened here. So nav main, this is my navigational, uh, the top menu bar. And um, we'll see here. Now on my new template, I've got it floating right. And I've changed the margins here quite a bit. And what else did I change? That's about it. And then this is the final one right here. Um, navigational main, the links. Um, the link elements in my main navigation bar, I decided I didn't need the um, nav main left JPEG, the the little purple images that were underneath the um, menu links in the main menu bar. I didn't need them, so I commented that out. Here I'm clicking to the old, the old, and the new. Okay, and then um, my we'll go down here to nav main this is a for anchor tags which are used for your um, hypertech your hyper referen hyperlinks uh, hypertext reference links and you'll see here that there's a few changes there let me go down here and put my this is the old one all right and this is the new one okay so display block padding i changed i think the padding no not quite anyway this is um the new one I also turned off the background image for the anchor tag that was on the right hand side of the anchor elements for nav main um, uh, in the wrapper okay I uh, changed something I moved this background image um, from the wrapper I moved it down to the left element and let's see here I'll see if we have that difference here yes I had a, this BG Un, uh, dash inner dot jpeg um, was in the wrapper and I moved it to the left element. Now let me talk about what that image was. That image that I moved from wrapper to the left element was simply this background coloring that you see here in the user login area and down here this blue coloring here. So I felt since it's only existing in the left column anyway why put it in the wrapper? Why not put it um, in the left element where it belongs. So I commented this out in case I needed to go back to what I had originally. Okay, and then the title bar, um, I think I might have put a few things different in the title bar. Let's see here. Um, uh, old and new. Um, you can see here that I changed the title element a little bit but not too much and um, the content wrapper let's see here I might have changed that a little bit content wrapper nope not too bad content main uh, I didn't change that much I did change the padding in content main a little bit I 
commented this out here. So what I did was, um, this was at 1%, I changed it to 0% padding in content main. Okay, so I changed that a little bit. And then the main, one of the main things was this left menu bar that I needed to fix. And I made a lot of changes to this left menu bar. You'll see here that it says at left element and then left link elements and then um, left element A for anchor tags and then comma and left element A for anchor tags visited and A for anchor tags links, right? So anchor tag links and anchor tank visited links and this is all new. And what I had was in the previous, um, you'll see this is interesting, in the previous template, I believe this is still the previous template over here, you'll see that I had this that said left and then the next element was left dash links and left dash links, right? I had this and that worked fine in my um, in my HTML version because in my HTML version the HTML had those uh, had that going on in it. In other words, if I bring up the HTML from before, you'll see that my left menu bar in the HTML element was in a div ID left and then inside of it I put an unordered list ID equals left links. Well in my in my CSS I don't have a div or in my index.php rather I don't have a div for um, left links. All I have is a div called left. There is no div for left links. So all of this code that was under the title left links all this CSS was not showing up on my page so I moved I commented out left links so I commented all this out and I put all that content into the left element so I have the left element handling that styling and when I did that by doing that this stuff right here I was able to style my left menus pretty nicely and that was pretty much done with these three elements right here and then down here, um, the footer I didn't do much with, but this is interesting. Um, I want to talk about this, and I'll talk about it after I stop and start the movie again.